that whole sit still, be quiet, pay attention thing um, doesn't come so naturally for boys. And because they are, they are built uh, for, for movement. Uh, the next problem is that they are unappreciated. And I think this is such a big one um, for boys, unappreciated and uninspired. Uh, but let's first talk about unappreciated. Sure. Where they're in a culture where uh, we're, we're kind of discounting that there's differences between boys and girls, and there just are. Any parent of a boy and a girl knows that they just come out different. In fact, studies in the womb tell us that a boy in the womb behaves differently to stimuli than a girl in the womb. It's just, just different. God has, God has made them that way. And so if we're not appreciating those differences, we tend to treat them like one size fits all. And that's just really hard for boys. You know, that whole sit still, be quiet, pay attention thing um, doesn't come so naturally for boys. And because they are, they are built uh, for, for movement. And, and we talk about that more in the, in the book, Let Boys Do Boys. We talk about some of these psychological, uh, physical, sociological, developmental differences between boys and girls, but they're huge, the differences between boys and girls. And so we put boys in environments that are pretty much designed for girls, sit still, be quiet, pay attention. And then when they don't do those things, we somehow, you know, we label them as like defective girls. Like, you, you know, why can't you sit still like Susie? And uh, because, because I'm not wired to sit still like Susie. Right. <laughs> I'm different than, I'm not a Susie. You know, I'm trying to tell you in every way in the world that I'm not <laughs> one of those, I'm something different. But our, our educational systems, even our churches, some of our systems are, are lean towards that sit still, be quiet, pay attention thing, which is just not the best environment for boys to learn. You know, like I said, we homeschooled our two boys. And I remember all, my wife and I, when we moved towards homeschooling, the, the school system was having a surplus sale. And we went and we bought two desks. And I took them home and I sanded them and painted them. Was, we were going to do the school thing. I don't think my son's ever sat in those desks ever. You know, they learned hanging over the couch backwards or under the yep. table with a dog on their head or whatever. You know, boy, <laughs> boys, boys need that movement. They need that motion. But in a classroom, they're declared somehow deficient or defective or, or ADHD or whatever when they're simply being boys. And so we've got to appreciate that there are actual differences. I mean, follow the science. There are actual differences between between boys and girls, and we keep putting them in environments that they're already set up to fail. So we have to appreciate those differences and give them a different experience than what we're giving the girls. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday.